changes because I was messing around with the well, with the code but last time we left off like this and when you click the green flag the enemies will start to spawn and you can specify how many enemies and you can and there's a wave counter and everything and then all the enemies will follow the path and get to the end and then yeah so now today um what we need to do is first of all we need to create a new sprite and we're gonna click like a we're gonna make like a play button sort of thing i guess you could say so it's like you have this and i want to increase the outline to 12 because i love outlines and then wait let's make it a little bigger boom I mean, mm, all right, fine. And then we can basically just make a, a play button. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna try my best here. I'm not the best at doing art, but. Okay, wait, that is way too spiky. And then, alright. I'll just do this and make a giant one and then I'll scale it down. Boom. 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 Okay. And now, we take this. I'll turn the saturation down. And then we make it tinier i'm going to make it this like seven or something okay this is still way too big okay yeah there and that makes the boom okay that makes the play button and then we just center this and we group it together and yeah, all right. Now we call this um, next wave button there, and we'll put it up there. Okay. So when green flag clicks, go to up there, and then forever if. Well, no. Put this in a if. Wait. We'll put it in a if else loop, and then do. Um, if touching mouse pointer, then set ghost effect to zero. I'll set ghost effect to zero, but this actually needs to be 20, not zero. And then if you hover your mouse over the thing, it'll do that. But when we want the wave, we want the enemies to start when you click the button. So what we need to do is just basically get rid of all of this okay and then put a when i receive message and then click new message and click next wave and then over here we can do broadcast next well we can do when this right click broadcast next wave and in the when this right clicked we can also add an if else loop another one and wait put the broadcast next wave inside there and then um do if temp is equal to zero temp is equal to zero then broadcast next wave so if you guys remember we have a variable called temp and that stands for temporary and this just makes it um this just so when the wave actually begins um it'll set a temp to one at the beginning it should set temp to zero so yeah so now nothing will actually spawn in 
until you click that, uh, until you click the play button, mm -hmm. and that will make the wave. And if you click it during the wave, if you click it during the wave, it, it wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. So what happens is this waits three seconds and it sets temp to zero. Um. We don't really want that. Also, guys, if you notice, I did add the if wave num is equal to two for the another for another wave. Uh, and yeah. So instead of waiting three seconds, we can make it wait like. You know what? I'll just leave it to three. Um, because over here we can add. Add a wait one second. Well, wait two seconds right there. So now we won't be able to click that. And boom. So now that the next wait button is working, I, I want to move it over a bit. Um, look up there. Mm, maybe like that. Okay. And then change the x and y coordinates to that. Boom. Now that will mean now if you click it, it changes the. Oh wait. Yeah. Also, we can uh, go back into the next wave button and set wave number to zero. Boom. And the one the sprite clicked over here. We can change uh, put a change wave number by one, and now it'll change the wave number. And then when the wave is done, so that means when all these enemies will um, touch get to the end, then um, okay. Then if you click it again, that's wave two. And over here, if wave num is equal to two, it's going to spawn seven enemies instead of five. So the wave system works as it's supposed to, which is very, very good. Um, yeah, now we're going to start making the turrets that will actually fire. So, um, we can just make a little gray circle boop and then make a gray square boom and then click go backward do it like this all right i need to make this look a little bit better so i'll be right back Alright, so guys, I am back, and I designed this turret, and, um, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out, and, alright, so what you want to do is, you want to take the middle of, like, the body of the turret, and, and put that in the center, instead of actually centering the whole thing, so it'll be able to turn properly, also, I'm going to reduce this to, like, five or so. And then you should say, can't, I can't help but make changes to this thing. I don't know why. All right, there. So now, um, we can call this, um, actually, wait, since this is the basic turret, instead of having, okay, you know what, no, no, no. We're going to call this basic it okay and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one flag clicked wherever hide actually okay yeah I'm gonna have this only have one thingy cuz boom okay now we can do one green flag clicked hide set size to 100 and forever if 
Galaxy Space Pass. This is just for now. I'm gonna add a comment here. Temporary, just to know that it's temporary because we're gonna add the shop later. But when key space press, then um, create clone of myself. And when I start as a clone, go to mouse pointer. Forever, go to mouse pointer. Go to mouse pointer. Well, actually, you know what? We need to do repeat until mouse down. Go to mouse pointer. And you'll see that when you press. Oh, wait, I wish I guys had a show. Alright, you can see when we press space, um, it'll do that. And, yeah. So then, what we need to do is if key right pressed then turn right by five degrees and let's not do that and if key left pressed boom then we turn left by five degrees and that will mean we can turn our turret and um and then if we click and if we click then it will place down so look we have a turret we do that let's say we want to put it in this direction we click and then it doesn't follow our mouse anymore but after you've run the wave you can see it's not going to shoot or do anything so but first we need to do um if mouse down mouse down well, actually, let's do if else. <clears throat> if mouse down, and then we need to, Oh my god. If mouse down, and... Not... Touching color. Touching... Color. And then the color of the track. And if not touching that color then we can wait okay no instead of that we can do that boom so we can just put that there and now you'll see we can't place it on the track which is a very good thing wait. so you can see we can't place it on the track because that's just not fair okay wait Mm -hmm. All right. So, see, we can't place it on the track, which is very good. All right, there. Now, um, okay. What now we can do is we can also do um forever. So this is a since this is a basic turret. This is gonna wait like 0 0.7 seconds and then broadcast basic and then actually no 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 we're not gonna broadcast anything we're gonna paint a new sprite and this is going to be a laser so our turret is gonna shoot out lasers yes also i'm going to paste this actually wait no i'm going to copy this wait let me move this over a bit okay wait. i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste it i'm gonna make it a little bit uh smaller i'm going to stretch it out by like a lot okay so it's gonna st stretch out a lot and it's gonna have no outline first of all okay. and this is stretch all the way all right fine that's this is good enough okay and then it can be like a bluish color maybe like a purplish sort of 
bluish purple eyes right now. Have like okay. This color blue. There. That seems good. So um this is going to be called basic turret laser. Boom. And then we do um forever create clone of basic turret laser. And now this guy we can do when green flag clicked for uh, well first of all we need to put a high there a size size to a hundred and then we can do when i start as a clone um and then we do wait so when i start as a clone then we need to go to wait Oh wait, no, 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 okay, wait, I just, I just messed up. Oh, <clears throat> this basic turret laser isn't supposed to be a new sprite, it's literally just supposed to be a new costume of, um, your, of your laser, I mean of your turret, and it's supposed to be, boom, okay, it's just basically supposed to be firing a laser, sorry about that. And instead of creating clone, we have to switch costume to costume two, and then we do switch costume to costume one up here. And then we duplicate this. Do, do. So now, oh wait. And then we do, wait until, oh wait, no, 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 no. Put this in an if else, and put the if else in a flag. Okay, yeah. So forever if um. Then oh my god. Wait. Okay. Huh. <sighs> okay. So we need to do forever if else. Okay. We put it equals to. We put a temp. If temp is equal to 1, right, then we wait 0 0.07 seconds, or else we do nothing. So now, you gotta do this. It won't start firing. It will start firing when we do this. So, I mean, this is the easiest possible way I could think of making the turret fire. Um, it's actually a pretty good system. Also, instead of doing one and uh, zero point five, I'm gonna do. I mean, zero point seven. I'm gonna do one point five, and that will make the basic turret not. Oh wait, no. Okay, and this needs to be like zero point four. <sighs> so this is what makes the basic turret not too good. So we do this, then we run it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, boom. So now in the enemy, we can do, okay, wait, I have no clue where this came from. This needs to show, and so we do that. Where the heck is it? Okay, so basically, we need to do if touching color, not that, but that there. And then we also delete the clone, so. Let's just run it real quick. I mean, no, oh my God, wait. All right, so look, we have our turrets. Boom, boom. And then we click. Okay, yeah, so the enemies disappear if they touch the laser. And yeah. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. So peace out.